It was meant to be for Australia's Mark Leishman. He came here with high hopes of being the first person to win Arnold Palmer's tournament since we lost the King. And he did it, fueled by this 51-foot eagle putt at the 16th hole. To the victor come the spoils. Leishman secures his job for the next three years. Golf Central has the full story from Bay Hill. Golf Central. Brought to you by Titleist. This is where you want to be, especially at Arnold Palmer's golf tournament. On that 18th green, wearing that red alpaca wool cardigan. A sentimental gesture to the winners going forward. A new tradition begins at the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. Mark Leishman, your 2017 winner. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the show. We will put a complete wrap on this day of golf. It was very exciting down the stretch, just like Arnold would like it. Kelly Tillman, Billy Kratzer, Justin Leonard, and David Duvall combining for 29 PGA Tour victories and two major championships, and we had quite the show. It really did come down to just three men in the end. One of them was a man determined to win this golf tournament. Came here, he said, to celebrate Arnold's amazing life. Rory began the day five shots back at the ninth. That was his second from 89 yards to inches. He would birdie, and he's just four back at eight under to the 10th hole. Well, he wasn't done. And another seven, monster seven. drive just left him 85 yards. Thought he may have hit it just a little bit long, but what did he know? Three feet, that would lead to another birdie. Weather was warm. Rory was playing hot. Moves it to nine under. Four off the pace. Charlie Hoffman, the overnight co-leader with Kevin Kisner. We pick him up at eight from 122. Drives it down there perfectly. Trying to take dead aim. He doesn't get enough of it. Goes in the water. Shoots three over in the front nine. It seems like he's out of the race for now. Uh, but let's wait and see. Mark Leishman at the 10th for birdie. Nice approach shot. Just. Just past the hole, doing what he does best, making putts. One of the best putters in professional golf. He's going to take advantage of it. Just two off the pace at that point. Now to Kevin Kisner. He was looking pretty solid for most of the day. Here he is at the par 5 12th, though, his fourth shot from a collection area. Yeah, and Kelly, when you see a player in control of his game like Kisner was, you don't see the miss to the left. He had plenty of green to the right, and he catches it then, goes across the green, and then has to work to get the ball up and down. So he bleeds. He drops to 11 under, and now it's a two-shot lead for him. Charlie Hoffman, he's not ready to go away just yet. He's trailing by two. Here he is at 13. From 136 yards, everyone in the last few groups were 20 to 30 feet left of the hole. Charlie takes this pin on and would make birdie to get one back at 10 under par. Or like 20 to 30 inches left of the hole. Kisner at 14, trying to save par. Really needing this. I think he's done well this week is hole putts, but this one just barely slips by, falls back into a co-lead at that point. Perhaps the nerves setting in at this point in the tournament. Rory McIlroy trailing by a shot at the par 5 16th. Got to capitalize. Yeah, and this is where the short game, I think this is where he is underrated. I think just the creativity, the ability to kind of figure that shot out and to put it in there 24 inches from the hole, that was magnificent. He got the birdie, and all of a sudden, it's a three-way tie at the top at 10 under par. Same hole, Leishman trailing by a shot. Well, you know what this one does if you watch the opening of our show from 51 feet for Eagle to take the outright lead at 11 under par. His longest putt of the season by 20 feet. No better time than now, David. And that is a thing of beauty. Rory at the 18th, he knows what he needs to do. Knowing he has to make this very indifferent approach after the way he had played today, and this just never, ever had a chance. Had it hit the hole, it had just chased right on by, bounced out, and here he is facing it, coming back, and well, this isn't even close either. Sad to see, but three putts the final green to fall out contention. His first three putt in 70 holes. Back to Leishman at 17 and a par save for him. Well, critical putt. But this, oh, as David said earlier, this is what he does best. Second in strokes game putting on tour. That is pretty much money for Mark Leishman. Tough finishing hole. It's a one shot lead for him with one to play. His third from just off the green. After driving in the left rough, 
playing it to here. This from 45 yards. Beautiful touch. Judges the break, the speed. I'm gonna leave him with a three footer for par. You've been there, you've done that, Justin. How tough is this it's moment? Center putt, it is a tough moment. And it's brilliant right now. You can see by the, the fist pump, he knows what he's accomplished here. A great part, a very difficult hole. Kisner trying to press here on 18. One back, needs a birdie. Yeah, not the place to drive it, though, to take on this hole. As soon as he hits it, he knows it's left, it's long. Facing a difficult bunker shot, he'll have to hold or have any chance of time. Spent a lot of time in bunkers coming down that stretch. And Hoffman, after a bogey at 17, he needs to drop this one. Yeah, he did what you need to do off this tee. He put the ball in the fairway, great angle, 156 yards. Really a good effort. And after three over on the front, Charlie Hoffman, he showed up on the back. Good he for him. Did get the birdie, Billy, but it wouldn't be good enough. And now Kisner, he needs to make this one disappear. And a good effort, but just not enough. So Mark Leishman wins the 2017 Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. His sons, Harvey and Oliver, his wife, Audrey, who's expecting in July. They have a little girl on the way, and it is a perfect day for Mark Leishman and his beautiful family. Charlie Hoffman, what could have been the 36-hole leader, the 54-hole co-leader, Kevin Kisner, also with a good shot to win today, but it would slip through his fingers. Mark Leishman gets a three-year exemption on the PGA Tour. That is one of the many perks they've added here at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. So, a banner day for him as we rejoin our panel. These greens, it seemed, got tougher as the week went on, and as we hit the back nine on Sunday, I hadn't seen him any more challenging than I did this week. He was the right man for that job. He was. He's one of the best putters in professional golf. His stats bear that out, and, and as the greens sped up this weekend, they were approaching you know, 14 all weekend. They were firm, they were fast. Because of that, not a ton of grain, but just a little bit you have to pay attention to, but here he is. You know, if you watch these putts, they're not necessarily just catching the hole, lip it in. They're not wishful thinking. These are putts that are going right in. That putt he made there on the 10th, here on the 15th for par, just knocking it right in. And, and really, you think back to the putt he made on 16 right here, uh, come on. You know, this is the third time we're seeing it. We're, I promise you, we're gonna see it some more. This is incredible. And it is center cut, no less. Uh, just an amazing display of putting prowess today. Yeah, when you're looking for a little added confidence, when you're a little down on your game, just rack that and loop it and loop uh -huh. it. That's what he should do. Well, and hit a, hits a great shot at 17, probably just a half a club too much. You saw him back up a couple paces behind the tee marker. Uh, a good bunker shot and then another great putt. Well, Billy, you mentioned that this is more of the same for Mark Leishman, who came into the week second in strokes gained putting on the PGA Tour. First round, it was a subpar day for him on the greens, 35th in that department. Back to the man we know in the second round, again relenting in round three and first in strokes gained putting today, which ultimately led to the title, and I mentioned it, three-year exemption on the PGA Tour. This is a guy who obviously is a world-class player, 62nd in the official World Golf Ranking, and will now jump to 35th, but he hadn't won since 2012. You saw him win at Travelers. This was overdue. And it was a different win here. At Travelers, he finished two and a half hours uh, ahead of Charlie Hoffman. He shot 62. He was waiting in the clubhouse. Today, he was right in the mix all day long. It looked like Kisner was going to run away with it when he had the three-shot lead mm -hmm. because guys kept making mistakes. But Leishman, when it meant the most, came up the biggest. He made the putts necessary. The greens were tough. I ran into Billy Horschel uh, in the parking lot, and he said, man, are these greens good, and are they tough, and they're hard. It was a great championship. You know, that's the difference, really, between 2012 at Travelers and today because 2012, he wasn't in the heat of it. No. He was way behind, shot an amazing round of golf to win, but he wasn't in the heat of it. This, this win here, fighting it out with big names, with great golf, might serve him very well moving forward. We've wondered why he hadn't won more. Well, he hadn't been in a position and come through. Today, he did on a big stage. And Mark Leishman in that red cardigan sweater, just like the King War, will be here on our set in just a short while to talk about what this victory means to him and what it will do for him going forward. Congratulations to Mark Leishman. I guess Rory can feel good that the winning mark was ultimately 11 under, 
when he three-putted that last hole, but no doubt upset with the way things turned out. We'll hear from a disappointed Rory and Charlie Hoffman straight ahead. Golf Central is brought to you by Titleist, the number one ball at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Bushnell Golf and the Tour X, slope technology when you want it, tournament legal when you need it.